Hi, welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then we are into a special session on this uh, supplier import now, fine. I'm having some issues. I couldn't do successfully actually, fine. So I'm getting stuck somewhere. So I will now ask others also to what happens, uh, guide me in uh, doing it actually, fine. Uh, so let me go on and share it, fine. We are going to see the supplier import. So keep on sharing import. I'm going to do it. <clears throat> so the first activity which you have to do is what? You have to go to the docs.org.com. I'm going to go to the docs.org.com. Go there. So go to the docs. Dot org. So here you go to this area now. So let me what happens. Hide this. <clears throat> so go there. So in the cloud applications, what happens? We have to go to the procurement. Fine. So procurement is not coming in any way. Fine. Go there. Click on the see all. Fine. Click on the see all on the cloud applications. Procurement is not listed over here. Now. Fine. So click on the see all. Fine. Click on the see all. We'll be having it. Now. And whenever you find any value addition, please immediately open up your mic and then speak. Now. Fine. So that what happens? Everybody will benefit from this. So go to this place, fine. So go to this place. I will not go to the procurement. I click on the procurement. <clears throat> in the procurement, what happens? You go there. I will not go to what the instance is 22 D only fine. Do it and then click on the all books. Fine. Click on the all books. And go to the all books on the left hand side. And then go down now. Fine. Under the implementation guide, we have the FBDA. So click on the HTML of the FBDA. And click on the HTML. <clears throat> fine. Click on it. And the HubDA. Fine. Go down. Fine. Go down. In the supplier model, we have got eight sheets section. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight sheets are there. So what I what I have done is I have already imported. Fine. If you click on the supplier addresses, fine, go there. Come on, the one. So if you click on it, fine, click on it, fine. If you click on it, it will now start a download. So it is not downloaded. Fine, go there. So open it up. So in the left hand side bottom, you click on the show all, it is downloaded. I will now show in the folder and then I will now open up. Fine. Double click on it. You know, opening it up. So this is the one supplier address import template. Fine, what else? Fine. Double click on it. So once when you open it up, what happens? You'll be getting what happens? The yellow color bar is coming. So it's not coming. If you had to enable it, then then also what happens? You'll be getting the same a, a rose color bar is coming. So that means what? The security risk is coming. Fine. Close it. And then what you do is you'll now go to this place. Fine. Go there. So you'll again go to this place. Fine. Go there. So right click and then go to the properties. Right click and then go to the properties. And go to the properties. And then unblock it actually. Fine. So there will be an advanced, fine, click on the advanced, fine, that. and then here, what happens, there is an unblock which will be coming. It's not coming, and what I want. Ah, in the general, what happens, you have to get one unblock. I go to the sharing, no, fine, that. sharing. I have to get one unblock. Security, I go to the security. I go to the security. Security also unblock is not coming. <clears throat> oh, God. Location, fine. It will be coming in the beginning itself, fine. sharing. Fine, go there. So customize, fine, nothing is happening in the cancel. Find the file now. Supplier import template address template. So right click and then again go to the properties. Now click on the properties. You will know, ah, you see, you are able to see unblock. So put a tick mark on the unblock and then click on apply and then okay. Now you have to unblock it first of all. So the security you have to unblock it and click on apply. So click on okay. Then afterwards, if you open it up, it will now open for editing. So first of all, unblock it. So open it up. Now you will not get any rose color and then yellow color icons. There is no rose color icon, no yellow color icon. So this is the way. So what I have already done is what I have already uh, downloaded those things. I have already done. So I have already kept everything over there. I will not go to my shoulder and show. So I will not go to J colon. So I have a supplier import. So I have already downloaded and then I have already done one more thing also. I have now uh, imported a P01 uh, supplier actually. So I will now open the zip file and then let me delete everything. And delete. <clears throat> I'm not deleting all the zip files. So here I, I renumbered it also. <clears throat> fine. The way in which we are to find and upload it and numbered it. So let us now begin with the supplier of what T01. Fine. So let us now go and begin the import of a supplier. Fine. So go the supplier import template. I'm going to open. Fine. Fine. So 01. I numbered it also. Fine. The eight sheets have uh, been numbered also. So double click on. First is supplier import. Fine. Double click on. <clears throat> I'm not going to open it. Up. Fine. So go there, click on it. Go to this place. Fine. So uh, I have used 1001. So this time, what happens? I will now use uh, 3003 now. Fine. So 3003 is a batch code. So create fine for that. Taxpayer country is US and not United States. Remember, if you put US, it's not working properly. So uh, ID is also required. Fine. The ID must be unique, actually. I'll uh, what happens? Uh, import this now. Fine. So I will now go to this place. I will now make it as what? 123, 123, 123, 124. I will now make a change. 124. So the remaining is okay, fine for that. So go to this place. And then you can even try to populate the remaining ones and then see whether everything is coming up properly or not. <clears throat> so everything is there. So click on the home and that. So here I will now change the what happens the supplier name to what? T01. So it is a T01. Fine. T01 sub one is the one. 
So I have made one more Excel sheet of whatever I have done now in this place. So it's a P, whatever, no, T, no, fine, what else? So go there, you want to know that. So go there. So it is now completed, fine, 303, fine, the number, fine, go there. Any doubts on this now, fine, go there. So committed. <coughs> so now we will now create a, whatever, the zip file. Fine, click on okay, fine, go there. What are the instructions on CSV file, go there. So click on the generate CSV file. So click on the generate CSV file format, and then I'm going to create a zip file. So on the zip file area, fine, on the supplier import, I have a zip file. So I will now say, what happens? the supplier import. The supplier import is the one. Go so go there. I will now import it. Now <clears throat> go on that import it. Click on, click on save. You know, saving it fine. Click on save again. Go there. The CSV file is created. After having done this, you close it without the save now. Fine. Do not save while you're closing it. So my wife has given a coffee now, fine, just now. So we'll now have a small coffee break. Fine. All tea. <clears throat> so now what happens? I have now completed the zip file now. Fine. Now what I do is I will now go to the main screen. Fine. It is not the main. Fine. I will now go to the download. Fine. So this is also completed. Fine. Close it now. Fine. So I will now go to this area. Fine. So I will now go to the monitor process. And then what happens? I will now bring it to the interface table. Fine. Click on the scheduling process. <clears throat> So go there. Load interface file for import. Fine. Click on OK. We are going to import it. Bring it. So go there. So the import process, what happens? It is a supplier import actually. And drop it down. And then click on search. You know, searching for it. So click on search. And then we will now put supplier import. Now. And click on search. Fine. I will now say it's what import supplier. So import supplier. Fine. Click on search. Now. Fine. Click on search. I am now going to go import. So it is what import suppliers. You want. Fine. Click on OK. We are importing supplier. Fine. Data file is what? Go there and then click on the upload new file. Fine. So in the choose a file, in the choose a file, what happens? I have now kept on the zip file now. Fine. On the supplier import, I have a zip file. So this is the one zip file. I will now click on open now. Fine. So click on OK. So we are now loading it into the what? The UCM area as well as we are bringing it to the interface tables in one go now fine. by uploading it. So click on that. So it comes to the UCM area as well as the what happens, interface area. Fine. Click on something. So by which what happens? Three concurrents are going to run. Fine. 483 is a concurrent. So it's now going to run. 483 is running. <clears throat> 483 is coming. So 483 is running now. So 483 onwards, what about the three concurrent will run? So once when it is completed, we'll now go and then do the import now. So 483 is the one. It's passed, passed. Fine. It's not running, running, running. 483 onwards, three concurrents are waiting. Fine. Error completed and then succeeded. Now let us now bring it to the base tables. Fine. No succeeded. No go to the place. So here, what happens on the in this area, fine. On the suppliers area. So if you go to the home icon and go to the home icon and then go to the procurement now and go to the procurement and then go to the suppliers now and go to the home icon procurement and then go to the suppliers. So click on the procurement and suppliers. I will now go to the import. So go to the import suppliers. Click on it. We are going to import it. Go to import it. So go there. Action is what? Import suppliers. Action is what? Import suppliers. I go to the what happens in the task list and then I go to the import suppliers and then import and then what happens? Go to the actions and then go to import supplier. Click on it. So go there. I will now make it as all now. Fine. What is the batch ID? Anybody remembering? Batch ID. Come on. Three. <laughs> eh? three. Three. Three zero zero three or yeah, one zero zero three. Three zero zero three. Very correct. Three zero zero three is the one. So click on submit. So I am now putting the batch ID. Fine. This is going to be important. Fine. Click on it. So it will now run now. Fine. Fine. No. Refresh it and then see. So three zero zero three is now going to be important. <clears throat> so go there. Click on it. So it's now running. <clears throat> So go to the place point, you know, ready, and then running. So afterwards, what happens once it is succeeded, what happens, we'll now have a look at the view output also. <clears throat> so we'll wait for the system to complete now. Running, running. <clears throat> it is completed, and then it will now go to the succeeded, and then the view output is done. Fine, click on the view output. There will be a PDF file which will be generated. So click on it, the PDF file will be downloaded now. I will now open up the download. So click on the PDF file and open it up, and then see. So supply is imported is one now. So go down and go down. You know, say suppliers not imported is zero. And supplier not imported is zero. And go down and you know, see what happens. It's the one. And T01 sub one is now created with the supplier number also. And we'll now create it. And end of it. We'll now go there. Close it now. And go there. So close it. And then here, what happens? We'll now open up and then manage suppliers. And click on it. We'll now go to the manage suppliers. So go to the manage suppliers. And then query for the T01. So T01. I'm going to query and click on search. <clears throat> so we are searching for it. And go down. If you click on the hyperlink, what happens? The supplier is getting paid. And there are so many fields on the supplier. Now, right? So go to the profile now. Right? Click on the profile. You can see there are so many fields. Right? So those things also you can add in the Excel sheet and then see. Right? So 
So there are so many information there. So if you add up, and then there is a lab access for it. <laughs> so what happens with that? So it is normally done by the payable stream actually. Payable stream will be on the profile area. And supplier is not created. I'll go there. So we'll now go to the next one. Thank you. We'll now go to the payment. We'll now go to the next one. So the one is current. We'll now go to the supplier address. In this place, if you go to the address, there is no address at all. So we are going to import the address now. Thank you. We are going to import the address. Then go to the place. We'll now go there and then populate the address. We'll now open up the address now. Thank you. Supplier address. Double click on it. We are going to populate it. I've already done for P01 and then I'm modifying it. <clears throat> so go that one. So go that. And now say batch number is what? 3003. And go that one. Create, create. And then here in the supplier, what happens? I now go there. Make a change to what? T01. <clears throat> the T01. So the one address also what happens? You go there and then change it to what? T01. And go. And then make it the T01. So country must be US now. Fine. If you write US, then only United States is coming. If you write United States, it will not come at all. Remember. I'll now go there. So here, the address line one. Also, I'm going to correct it. T01 address line one fine. City is Atlanta. Atlanta is coming. So I'm now putting Atlanta. So I'm now putting Atlanta and GA and then this one. So these three informations I have taken up from ABC Consulting. From ABC Consulting, what happens? I have taken up the Atlanta. And Atlanta I have taken. Atlanta is going So Atlanta and go that point. Atlanta, Atlanta. <coughs> so these city, state, and GA. Fine. Person code here. So I'm not giving any other field. Fine. You can even add those fields and then see it. And then what happens? Ordering and then remit to. Fine. It is ordering and then remit to has been yes. I have not given any email at the So ordering is okay. It is all the, is all the pain. Fine. Ordering and pay has been made as yes. This many has been fine. So give a commitment. Save. <clears throat> Upon save, what happens? Give okay. And then go there. So the address is now getting imported. Fine. Go to this place and then click on the generate CSV file. We are going to import the address. <clears throat> so, on. I will now say it's a supplier. Fine. Address. <laughs> Supplier address the one. Go so click on save. Once we give a save, what happens? It'll not, it'll not do it. Fine. Click again on save. Go it is not done. Fine. Click on OK. And then close the file without any saving. No. Fine. Don't save. When you're closing it, what happens? Don't save. Now go there. Click on it. We'll now go to the monitor process and then we'll now run again the one. <clears throat> go Load interface file for import. Fine. Click on OK. No. It is for the address we are going to bring it now. Go Drop it down. I will now choose what? Import suppliers. It is for the address. Supplier address I'm going to bring it. So go there. we have to bring it to the appropriate UCM area and then to the interface area. So click on search now. <clears throat> I will now query for the import supplier. Import, SCUP. Fine. You remember, I and S must be capital, otherwise it will not work at all. Fine. It is very case sensitive. So you know, the address now. Fine. It is the bank accounts, fine with the site assignments, contacts, fine with that. This is the address. Fine. Import supplier address. Fine. Click on okay. <clears throat> supplier address, fine. Drop it down. So supplier address, I'm going to do. Fine. Click on the upload new file. Fine with that. Click on choose a file. So I want to use the supplier address. Click on supplier address. So this file is going to be brought to the interface tables as well as finally into the interface table. Right? So first of all, UCM area and then to the interface table. Right? Click on supplier. So three concurrence will run now. So to bring it to the interface tables. Fine. First to the UCM area and then to the interface tables. So go there. So load interface file for import 495 is running now. Fine. Let it get completed. So click on it. So 495 is running. 495 is now passed. The next concurrence are running one after the other. All the three. It will now run three, three concurrence here. Now, fine. So if there are more sheets, it will be running for more. Now, fine. These things are having only one one address. Now, fine. So it is clear. So we will now go there. Click on it. I will now go to what? Go to the import. Now, fine. Go there. So go to this place. Fine. Go there. So we are going to do it. Now, fine. Click on it. So we will now go to the, uh, what happens? the import supplier tab region. Fine. Click on the import supply tab region. So here we are going to import the address. Fine. Go to the actions. And then here, what happens? The supplier address. Import supplier address. We are going to do it. So click on it. I will now say make it all. Now. Fine. Go there. 3003 is the one. The three thousand three. Fine, that. So click on that. If we make a mistake, please tell me immediately. Now, fine. So that what happens? We'll not correct it. So the import address is now happening. So we are now importing the address. Now, fine. That point. It is now running, running. Succeeded. Fine. Click on the view output. Now, fine. That. So click on the view output, and then it will now download. What happens? If you click on it, your PDF file will be downloaded. Now, fine. That. So we'll now open up the PDF file and then have it. So click on it. Now have it. So here, what happens? The supplier address imported is one actually. Go down now and see what happens. This is the address. Uh, supplier impressed so not imported is zero. Not imported is zero. And go there. And now see T01 address one has got it. Go there. So we gave US and then it is now coming as the United States. Remember. Address is what ordering and remit to has been enabled now. So we'll now go there and then have a look at this place also. Also, we'll now go there. We will now go to the what manage suppliers. We'll now go to the manage suppliers. Requery it now. Fine. Click on search. Fine, click on search. We are requiring it. So we are searching it. Fine. Open it up and then see on the place. So on the what happens on the profile area, we'll now see what happens is not coming. And then go to the address. The address also has to come. Fine. Address is not coming. Fine, we're done now. So that means what? It is not 
doing it nothing like that so click on search again now and click on search search again find that so click on the hyperlink of it now it takes some time or not i don't know <clears throat> to go to the address area it has to come that is coming and it took some time yes. if you go there the address is coming so if you go on the, what happens if you click on the edit mode what happens you can now see this so click on the edit mode and then you yeah, select and then click on edit so whatever i given atlanta ga and then 300328 fine these are all i have taken it from what from the abc consulting from abc consulting i have taken this value and then i have put it over there okay. ordering and remit has been enabled the address is known so go the give a cancel <clears throat> now next is what we are going to create a contact now, fine the contact i am going to get if you go to the contact there are no contacts actually fine let us now go on then create a contact thank you so much let us go there the third activity is what contact creation and what supply contact now that is the third file fine double click on it will now open up the contact file so go there is the 3003 i am going to put now fine 3003 is the one fine go there create and go there so the supplier is what i will now say is the t01 fine t01 is the one fine go there so address is again what happens that is the t01 fine go there so we go that t01 no big it here so i will now what happens i put a different name now fine go there ananta 2 fine go there it is the nana 2 <clears throat> the nana 2 fine go there so uh, me mail also i will now correct now fine go there what i will give email on the contact email address fine go there i will now say one, me 11 one, one, @rate u11 one, one. u11 one, one. No, that's it fine go there so there is on the second sheet actually i will give a commit now so i have to go to the first sheet and then correct same thing fine so another two nana two fine go there i go to the first sheet fine click on the first sheet and go there so it is a 3003 fine tell me somebody is uh, nana one question the batch id we are using same batch id do we need to use same batch id i don't know when i'm using it it's working now <laughs> uh, the, i got surprised okay fine yeah. i'm not using the same batch id it is working so what about yeah the okay difference? okay now who is this uh, ramesh ramesh okay you use a different batch id and then tell me now so is the email id fine go that one is a 11 no fine i am not using the same batch it is working <laughs> i don't know no, yeah. for one supplier it will have to be same but it will not work for another supplier no oh, oh. but if you are having a batch a big batch fine yeah batch of batch of suppliers fine i don't know fine you make a search on this one so me uh, yeah i mean if you load once that batch uh, id yeah, in the community element. but yeah next time this time and do it what happens you have to use a different batch id so in this batch you are now importing some 100 suppliers fine go that is what is fine go that so and then try all this combinations combinations one so me 11 what do you want find the first sheet and then go that if you go to the next sheet fine i'm now giving the same name fine ananda to nana to then me 11 dot you find what address is what okay everything has been changed okay no? if i make a mistake please pardon one so t01 i know that everything is okay now fine it's all okay so i know committed if i make a mistake please point out okay so now the contact is getting created fine right? so here i don't know how to make the user inactive now fine i don't know there is no such column for user but when i giving a role it is now giving a error now the roles are giving a error fine it is now saying something fine the user roles are there but first of all we had to enable the user fine the user he has got a user account we had to enable it i don't know where to do it now fine that one we will now make a rnd later now fine we will now create another contact with the use the whatever the roles also fine with the roles also we will now try to create another contact and then we will now see whether it is now creating it now let us now first of all succeed on this now fine without a role and then over so there is no column for enable user account for this company there is no such column at all <clears throat> i don't know so we will do without a user account now click on connect no go that mode so it is for the contact actually fine go that mode so apply contact fine go to this place fine go that so click on generate csv file i now go to make it as what supplier contact fine you know say supplier in the scope contact contact so i know what was click on save now fine click on save and then there it will be asking one more say now fine click on save and then here one more save and then final save and what else there is a two save now right? because there are three sheets are there fine right? is... previously everything was having only one sheet now it is having two sheets actually so close it and close it and then do not save fine do not save so now you go there we'll now go to the system and then we'll now bring it to the interface of it <clears throat> go there so i will now go to the monitor process and then i'll now run this one right? this is for the supplier contact now thank you man so click on okay <clears throat> go there so drop it down i will now choose the import supplier So go to this place, find the import supplier. <clears throat> so go to the search now. Find click on search. Okay. It is called import find supplier. So import supplier. This is for the contact actually. So import supplier is the one. Okay. So you know, go there. See the CS is small. It is not actually when the very case sensitive one. Big or low bar. If you put a small S, it's not coming. Find click on search. So, so it is a supplier contact number. Click on it. Supplier contact number. Okay. And one of them. 
So drop it down and then click on the upload new file. No coming. So whether the recording icon is on or not, please make a check now. Fine. Otherwise, you tell me. Fine. Because if it goes away, it will be very difficult to again reproduce everything now. <laughs> Supplier contact. So click on OK now. Fine. Click on OK. So the contact is now getting imported now. So click on submit. So the He's contact on. is first of all coming. Huh? Is there now? Nah? On now? Nah? Yeah. Uh, just keep a watch on it. So click on it. So go there. So load interface file for the contact is now getting created. It's now running now. <clears throat> load interface file for the contact is now created. It has now succeeded. I will now go to what manage location is not this one. And go to this place. I will now go to what import supplier. I am now going to import the contact. Actions, what happens? I will now import the contact. So import, import supplier contact. I am going to do. So click on the import supplier contact. I will now make it as all now. And go there. The batch ID is 3003. 3003. Fine. Click on submit. Then I'll submit. So the contact is now getting imported. So first uh, supplier, then address, then contact is now getting imported. So we are now importing the contacts. So the contact is not coming up. So it has not succeeded. So let us now click on the view output and then have a look at it. View output. And then click on the hyperlink. The PDF file is not coming. So let us now open up the PDF file and then see. So it says what the number of supplier contacts imported is one now. Right? Well, the supplier contact address imported is also one. So, if a user action, uh, user, uh, if a user account action is specified for any of the imported suppliers contact, then the send LDAP has to be run now. But where to specify? I don't know. Why? If a user account is there, find me. It is not saying like this now. But in that Excel sheet, there is no user account column at all. If you go on and see, find what that one. If you go on and see the contact now, find on it. So there is no user account column at all. It has got first sheet in the first sheet, whatever they go there, you go further, further, further. Not only the hidden column or hidden any, oh, maybe God. column is high. Right? It's there, man, no, no. user account action. That's what it's saying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go. yeah, yeah. it's there. Yeah, yep. Yeah, user account action is there. Mm. We'll not do for the second one, no, fine. For the second contact, yeah. we'll user oh, yeah. so go there. So uh, there are something at that. So we'll not try yeah. for the second contact. No, fine, go there. We'll not use the second contact for this. Okay? Well, let us now first of all complete one contact with the user action. Fine, that we'll not do it. No? So we'll not do it for the second one. No? Fine, don't say. It. No, go we'll not do it. So go there. So we'll not go to this place. Fine, go there. Come on. Uh, I've not seen it. Fine, go So close it. No, fine. So here, what happens? You'll not see everything. Fine, go so not imported is okay. Fine, go there. So it has now created another two, another two with the with the so and so mail. So, no. so go there. Click on close now. I will not go to this place and then have a look at it. Fine, click on it. I will now go to what? Go to the manage suppliers. Fine, go there. I will now requery it. Fine, click on search now. Fine, click on search. <clears throat> and then click on it. Go to this place. And then the contact is not coming. Fine, go to the profiles. Profile is there. Address is there. And then if you go to the contacts, the contact is It takes some time. Not coming at all. And click on done and then come out of it. So even though it has come fine, it is not appearing on this area now. Fine, click on search again. So click on search. And then click on the hyperlink. Click on the hyperlink. So that go to the contacts directly. Now it's coming. So it's all there. He's not having a user account. So the next contact I will now create with a user action and then see now. Fine. We'll not try to add the roles also. So the contact is now created. Now what about the next activity is what you go there. Want. So now go there. So we'll now create a site. Supply site. So supply site I'm going to create. Fine. Double point. Let us now create a supply site. <clears throat> we'll now go to the supply site. So the first supply fine. So it is 3003. 3003. So I will now go to the query mode. Fine, go there. It is what I will now say it is a T01 US1. I will now go there. I will now query this. It is a T01. T01. Site 1 is okay. Fine, go there. Purchasing is on. And then what happens? The payable is on. So email again. What happens? I will now say some email. Uh, that is 1 1. And then I will now say triple 1. I will now do it. So Happens. I want to have a distinct email of and this triple one and this one of email. I will not give a commit on this game. So, click on the so we'll not see any other any further fields other than that's okay. And then invoice currency. I don't know how to do it now. Fine. Is it US dollars or USD? I don't know. USD always. Okay, USD. I will not put USD. USD. I have not done it. So this time I'm going to do it. USD, let me try it now. Fine. So USD is the one. Invoice currency. Why why the payment currency is not coming? Invoice currency is coming, but the payment currency is not coming. Oh, I don't know what's it. 
the so i don't know where exactly it will come so payment currency is not that anymore so it is not unfine commit so the first sheet is not unfine now go to the next sheet i go that now so click on okay fine go to the next sheet the third party so what is the third party payment okay in the payment i think probably payment currency will be coming i don't know fine you do the third party payment then it has to be supplied now fine so try this now fine i don't know uh, what exactly it is now fine so i not i delete everything fine third party payment so one the uh, payables guy will be able to tell you exactly so you know what only one sheet the second sheet is blank actually so you given everything fine that so invoice currency i have added when compared to the last one what happens i added because last time i am not having a doubt so i will not put usd now fine so so let us now go there commit so the third party payment i don't know fine if anybody knows it please put in the message in the, in the group we will not try to learn from it thank you we'll go there so it's what's called supplier side import now fine side import and that one i will not go to the top and we'll not import the side thank you so go there i will not say supplier and not say site this is a simple site supplier import the supplier site import site import thank you so click on save now we'll go there So go there. Let it be. This uh, this file name don't change at all. Fine. Click on save. Click on save. So whatever file names are coming, fine. Those things you don't change at all. Fine. Click on save. Click on save. And then finally, it's not done. So close this and then without don't save. Not done. Not done. So we'll now go to the go to this place. Fine. Click on it. We'll now bring it to the interface table. Go to the mount process. Is a supplier site actually. We'll now run it. Fine. Click on OK. <clears throat> we'll now see whether the USD is now working or not. Fine. Click on. Go to the import process and then import supplier. <clears throat> so initially profiles and then afterwards address, then contact. Now the sites now. Import, import, and then whatever the supplier. So go there. So click on search now. It is a site import. So import supplier sites. Thank you. That is the UCM area. So we go there. Drop it down and then choose the file and click on upload new file. Separate on it. We will upload it. Once you have file, go there. So it's a supplier site. Say supplier site report. Fine. Click on open. So click on okay. Then we are submitting it. So go there. So depending upon this, three or four concurrents will run now. Fine. <clears throat> so now there are two sheets of that. I think four concurrents are running. So five fifty one is the one which is now running now. So here I think four concurrents are still running. Five fifty one. Load interface file for import has got passed, so it is not triggering the transfer file. And then on the load interface, five fifty one is the one which is running actually. Five fifty one. So you now four are running actually because of two sheets. Four run, four will run now. So go there. So go there. So we have given only three thousand three. Now am I correct? Have I changed it? Anybody remember it? Now go there. And then I will now go to this place and have a look at it. Click on it. Uh, go to the file, and then what I call the zero point supplier site import. Now, fine. Click on it. Now, see whether I have given. Ah, uh, three thousand three I have given. Fine. The next sheet also, but but nothing is there on the next sheet. Fine. Only one sheet, and three thousand three I have given. Fine. So go there. Go to this place. Go to this place. I will now go to what? Go to the one here. What I call the go there. Go to the import suppliers. And then I will now import the site. And actions. I will import the supplier sites. So supplier site I am going to import. Make it all. And three thousand three is the one. <coughs> So click on submit. <clears throat> Are you all there? Anybody can say yes to me. No sound is coming. Yes, sir. yes, sir. We are here. So click on it. No running. <clears throat> so now, what happens? You now see the site is now getting completed. Now one success. So we all put. Click on it. I think there is no problem at all with the USB. So click on it. Go to this place. Go to this place. So here, see, supplier sites imported is one now. The remaining are zero. And imported is one actually. And go down. And then here, sites not imported is zero. It's okay. And go there. So it now says what? Uh, this T zero one sub one site one is now imported. Total number of sites imported. And then go there. So it now go and then show other things also. And third party payments, I don't know. Fine. If anybody knows it, maybe during that time, what happens? We may even have to give the payment currency also. And this may be the one. So it's okay, man, because it's not known to me. I have not done it. Third party payment, I have not done it. You will now go to the what manage suppliers. So we'll now query. Fine, click on search. Now, fine, click on search again. And then click on the. So we'll now go to the sites. Now, fine, click on the sites. So go to the sites. Now, fine, click on the sites. It has to come now. 
So site is coming, fine for that. So let me edit it and then go inside now. Fine, keep on edit. So we'll now see that invoice currency coming up around fine. Keep on edit now. I'll see the invoice currency is coming. So go to the invoicing. <clears throat> you know, see US dollars. Yeah, it's coming. But how to populate the payment currency? Somebody please tell me. That's not coming. So next one, I'm having a problem. In the site assignments, what happens? It is now asking for a withholding tax. So if I don't give the withholding tax, it is now giving error. Not. Say, for example, go to the manage locations. In the manage locations, now what I'm going to do is I will now put the location name as what this one. Fine, that. It is a, what Atlanta. So if I'm putting Atlanta, the code is what? US lock 003. This is the code. And then for which the withholding tax is not set at all. That is what it is saying now. It is not throwing an error on the withholding tax. Anybody knows about it, about where to set up the withholding tax actually for Atlanta. But why when we not? did when we did from front end, Nana, when we created many times supply, it never asked for it, right? <laughs> no, 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 it never asked for withholding yeah. tax at all. Oh, maybe it's we can asked. go. Oh, yeah. It is now saying is a location based tax actually. It is a location based tax. So withholding tax is absolutely oh. it knows about how to set up the withholding tax. I will not do a thing. Fine, I will not right click and then duplicate. We will not see any any what I was the withholding tax. Uh, what I was the task is there now. Thank you for it. I will not go to what set up and maintenance <clears throat> because there I am stuck now. So click on it. Will not go to space now. Click on search now. Fine. I will not go to the what manage. Fine. Personal withholding. Fine. Hold. I will not try to find out the task. Now. So go to space now. Is that withholding tax? Fine. Manage withholding tax. Manage withholding tax classifications there. Withholding certificates, calendars, manage tax. Okay, we'll now go to the classification itself. I'll see. Tax classification. No more. Ah, tax classification codes are all coming now. There's only class classification. Fine. How to set up the withholding tax section? Tax calendars is there. Another. So tax reporting and withholding tax option. No more that. No more that. Manage tax. Withholding tax option. Ah. I will not show you what the error now. So let me show the error now. So for Atlanta, we are given on the supplier header also Atlanta. So here also what happens, I am going to give Atlanta. I will now go to the site assignments. Site assignments. Fine. Double click on it. We are opening it up. So the so first sheet, there is only one sheet. Of, I will now make it as a 3003. 3003. I am going to create. Supplier is what? Go there. T01. Site is site one, fine, remaining all over. So this is a US location, no, fine. Sit location and then build location or what code actually. So if you go and then see, you have to mention the code now. Fine, navigate to setup and maintenance. So go to talks, no, locations, fine. Search for the location. Note that the location must be enabled as a ship to site and then must be active. Fine, it is enabled actually. Use the code for the desired one. That is what it is saying. So the full, fourth step is what you have to use the code now. Fine. So if you go and then see, this is the code now. Fine, go to the manage locations. Fine, we have a code like this. So that code only I have put. It. So it is accepting Atlanta, but it is saying withholding tax for this code is not set at all. That is where I am struck actually. So go that corner. So everything is now saying fine. That corner. Everything is there. So now everything is location for Atlanta. We are now given a fine. So everything, the token view, client view, everything is there. Fine. It is what? Now go there, give a save. So site assignments are not happening because of this withholding tax code. And go to the instructions and CSP. Fine. Generate it. I will not go there. It is a supplier. Fine. Supplier, I will not say site underscore assign underscore. What happens? I will not say one one now. One one because one one is going to fail actually. Supplier site assignment is going to fail. Now, thank you, Consai. So, this is going to fail actually. The last time also it failed. Thank you, Consai. So, click on OK now. Close it and don't save. <clears throat> now we go there and then we are going to fail now. And go to the place. Site assignment. So, thank you. I will not go there. Click on OK now. Thank you, Consai. Okay. <clears throat> Normally, visions everything would have been set properly now, fine. But uh, why don't know? Yeah, I mean, if it is working from front end, because we always do, so it should be set. That's all. It's set because the vision, <laughs> now, fine. At it should be set now, fine. Import percentage, fine. Supplier percentage, fine. Whatever. So click on search. Import supplier, whatever. So it's a site assignments, now, fine. No site assignments. Whatever. So go there, drop it down. And then I will not choose the site assignment. Thank you for not me. So click on choose now. Whatever. So I will not choose the assign one one more. Click on it. So click on it. <coughs> doing it now. Site assignment is now. So click on submit. Fine. I'm doing it. So I think only three files will run now <coughs> this time <coughs> because it has got only one sheet actually. Got only one sheet. 
So go there. <clears throat> site assignments is not running. So once when it is completed, it will not what I was do the import now. Fine. The import is going to fail actually. So I don't know where to set up this fine. Succeeded. So I will now go to the what monitor process fine. Go there. I will now go to this place and then I go to the import suppliers and then let us know import the site assignments. Actions go there. Site assignments I'm going to import. Import supply site assignments. I will now say all. I go there. Is the 3003 is the one. And then click on submit. This time it is going to fail actually. So cancel it to the red and open. So cancel it. Bring it on. So I will go there. So it will be running. So running, running. And this is going to error out. So there's no error though. So because it is not saying that withholding tax is not set for this at all, for this Atlanta. So if you click on the view output, find the error though. So this is where I was I'm working on vision now. Fine. Vision is now set for everything. And go there. So site import assignments not imported is one now. Fine. Not imported is one. And go down now. Fine. Go there. It is now saying these error codes. Withholding tax group is inactive or invalid. It's all saying now. So okay. I will do one thing. I will now create a new location, then new R. And then try to import it now. Fine. So that location will not have any uh, withholding tax section. Fine. Let me create a new location and then a new R. So anybody has got any idea about it? Come on. Not imported as one. So this is what the error is coming. I don't understand this. That is why payable steam, somebody from finance, Avinash, are you there? If Avinash is there, you may be able to give us some idea. Now. Avinash is from finance. Okay, Avinash is not there. Nana, for the same supplier, shall we try from front end just for the that uh, site assignment? And without giving any withholding tax, it is happening now. Fine, we have seen it many times. Yeah, so, yeah, but it looks like it will. Now. It should fail from front end also for this location. No, 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 no. Yeah, it will never yeah. fail at all. I told you now. Fine, if you do it, it will never fail at all. I have seen it. We okay. never give any withholding tax anywhere. Correct. For, for our locations, we never give. This was yeah. because no, it's even for the missions location, we don't give at all. I will mm -hmm. not show you here now. Fine. So, the, we go there. I will not show that. I will not go to the what uh, managed suppliers. Now, go to the import. Now, go to the managed suppliers. Let me query and show you. Fine. Click on click on search. Now. <clears throat> so I will not go that one. I will not go to this place. Fine. Click on it. So go to the what's called the one now. Fine. The site assignments is not coming. In this place, what happens? You have a withholding tax group. We don't specify anything at all in this place. Yes. Vehicle, we don't give it. No. It works. It coolly works. If you do plus sign, Nana, shall we see? Uh, what if you do plus, we can manually do it. That's okay. There's a different. Yeah. Correct, correct. But it, if setup is wrong, it should fail here also. That's what. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying. yeah. That's what I'm gonna find. The setup is not wrong at all. Fine. I don't know. Something is missing on this. So let me do one thing. For the Seattle built location, ship location, I will not have my own location. Fine. That location yeah. is not withholding tax. Fine. But I will not do it. So I will not go to the manage locations. Fine. Go there. So click on done. So let me create a new location, the new inventory order. Click on done. Let me get a new location. <clears throat> so go to the manage location. So let me create a new location. So click on create. Let me get that. These new locations will not have any tax tax configured at all. I will not go there. I will not say T01 underscore lock underscore one. So I am not creating a new location. Can take out it. I am going to go to the code. I am description. <clears throat> go there. So zip code is what? 10020. I am going to tap. So go to this place. Click on it. <clears throat> address line name is what? T01 find address one. Everything is now given. So click on submit. So T01 lock one is now submitted. And then let us now create a what happens, an inventory or for it. So right click and then what happens, a duplicate it now. I will go that now. I will now go to what cancel and then I will now go for the inventory or <clears throat> so cancel it. And click on this now. Not happening, fine. Go to the place. I will now go to the setup and maintenance now. They all set up and maintenance. I will now create an inventory or for it. Click on search. So manage inventory or manage. Inventory or present in different manage inventory or so go to the manage inventory or let me get a new or so click on plus. <clears throat> so I will now say it's a T01 underscore child underscore one now. So organization code is what T011. So business unit is what US one business unit. US one business unit. So my location is what T01. Drop down the legal entity. I will 
ஒன்ஸ் ஐ யூஸ் ஒன் திங்க் அட்டி தி ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி சென்டர் சென்ஸ் பண்ணுங்க சோ கிளிக் ஆன் நெக்ஸ்ட் சோ கிளிக் ஆன் நெக்ஸ்ட் நான் கோ டு நெக்ஸ்ட் ஐ நோ சே தி மாஸ்டர் ஆல் திஸ் ஆபரேஷன்ஸ் சோ இஸ் ஆபரேஷன்ஸ் பண்ணுங்க சோ ஆபரேஷன்ஸ் பண்ணுங்க ஐ will not make the definition of பண்ணுங்க சோ ஷெட்யூல் இஸ் अगेन ஆபரேஷன்ஸ் ஆபரேஷன்ஸ் பண்ணுங்க சோ மேக் இட் இஸ் வாட் லொகேட் பண்ண ட்ரிமெண்டஸ் ஐ will not enable it for manufacturing and maintenance fine my child is now getting created same and close T01 underscore child one, no doubt. If you go on and query for this now, T01, and then click on search now, it will be ready. It will be ready. So child is ready. We'll now go to the previous one, and then what happens, the type. And we have to perform a type. So let us now query the T01. Location octa is a must, actually, in fusion. And if you don't type, it will not come properly at all. We'll now type. So select it, and then click on edit, and then click on update now. And click on type. And click on okay. so by which what about the location organization tie is not getting set actually <coughs> so go there so t01 underscore lock underscore condition so inventory org is what go there i will not put t01 right? t01 one is a one so t01 one one 01 child one so go there so click on submit <coughs> you know so very good now we will now modify our sheet with this <coughs> so the request is submitted and we want now modify our sheet with this so it is the site assignments for this new location which is having a new inventory on and there is also on revision now and it is okay and all that so we'll now go to this place and so let us now open up the sheet now and click on no open up what the site assignment sheet you know that so here what about the ship to location you know that so here i have given the same code on the name now you know that everything is same actually find t01 underscore lock underscore one and i am creating it what about the name and code are same for me otherwise you have to give the appropriate code now so the name and code are same now. so i am not putting the code now fine here we have to put the code remember and not the name so code and name is same for us now fine so click on submit so 3000 is the one fine we know that so go there i will not go as go to this place fine click on submit now we don't know so i will not do the what's called zipping now you know that fine so go to this place fine click on it i will not click on the generate csv file now go that one i will not say it is a what supplier is a site underscore fine is a e as as i as i and i will say two two now <coughs> So supply side design two two is the one. Thank you for saving. So I know saving it as a new file. So, so go ahead, click on save now. <clears throat> and then the zip file is now created. Thank you for saving. Thank you. Close this. Then don't save now. Thank you. I'll now go here. Thank you for saving. Now go to space. I will now go to monitor process and then I will now bring it in now. So click on the load interface file and go. <clears throat> so go there. We drop it down. go to space and then i will know what about that make a search and then do it now so it is a supply site assignment actually drop it down and then click on search so click on search and now go to the import supplier now import and supplier and now click on search now and now what about it is a site assignment inside the site assignment so click on okay and then drop down i will not choose the two to file now choose a file i will not choose the two to file Yeah. Don't go there. Click on OK. So two to file is now ready. Brought it into the interface table. So thank you for that. Through UCM area, you are now bringing it to the interface table. So give it cancel. Very good. No problem. So load interface file for import is now running. So it has got only one sheet, and so what about the three sheets only will be running now? No wait for it. So this time we will now go on and import it. i i hope that this time you should not give any problem because my location not having any loading tags <coughs> so it is now completed so everything is now succeeded also and right so i have succeeded now go to the place now thank you so much so now what i will close this file close this file you know go to what manual locations where the manual centers so go there i go to the import suppliers and then let us now perform the assignment or site assignments and all so go to actions <coughs> go to actions and then go to what site assignments and site assignments import site assignment one and all 3003 is okay fine go back what up so this file is still coming up so that means what this uh, tab region itself is uh, wrong now thank you one tab region is not exactly working actually fine i will now duplicate it and then bring in a new tab region duplicate it and now bring in a new tab region fine the tab region is now locked actually so click on the star icon and then i go to what import suppliers the tab region is unlocked and go to the actions and then go to the import site assignments now thank you site assignments and then so go there i will make it as all right batch id is 
So click on submit. Now. <coughs> submit again. So this time, I hope that it has to succeed. I'm going to cancel. Ah, yes, escape on the way. Escape on the way. Okay. So this time it has to succeed <coughs> because my new location is not having any. Whatever the, the site assignment of those content. It is errored out. Oh God. So somewhere some setup is missing actually. Fine. Click on the view output mark. You go to this place now. So click on it. And again, you're doing it. I thought that this time it will be succeeding. Fine. Go to the one. Fine. So supplier side import, not import is two now. Actually, fine. Go to the one. Fine. Go there. So one on 1002 and then one on 1003. Actually, 1002 is a previous one. Fine. That also has failed. And then 1003 is the previous one. Fine. The 3003. Now, fine. Minus 3003. Go to the one. So how come it is not showing you me 1001 and 1003? I made a wrong one or what? 3003 is our numbers, no? Site one is the one finger supplier site one. Fine. Uh, withholding tax open on the wrong one. No, it's 3003 only, sir. It is 3003 only here? Yeah. In this place, you are getting a 3003? Click on it. Yes, you can see the header. Huh? Header, header, sir. You can see. In the header, right side. 3003. Fine. Header is 3003 only. Batch ID is 3003 only. Ah. Basically, sir, because this got errored out first time, right? so it would stay in the interface table, then it would not let you use the same number. <laughs> oh, God. Is it 3003? So now you can, you can try with another number and then upload. Which number I had tried? The interface ID is not coming. Fine. 3003. Oh, you want me to try another number? 3004? Yes. Okay. Correct, sir. Don't try. Okay. Don't try with the 3004. No, I don't try with another number. Okay. That's what he's saying. Okay. Do not try with the 3004. Supply side design. So let us now go for 3004. 3004 is the one fine. So 3004. Nana, can we change the site name also? The first one was site one. So site one is this. already done now. Fine. Site one has already got imported. So we cannot change. Well, site yeah, has yeah. It was. Do it on the same site only. Site is already important. Yes. No, the site assignments only where do it now. Fine. We cannot change now. Yeah, hey, I'm saying that assignment. No, name is there. Oh, okay. This yeah, is yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Got it. We cannot do it. Only 3004 is the only change. Anybody else? Anybody? Any comments? Same for anybody? Okay, we'll now proceed now. Fine. So click on comment now. Fine. Click on the okay. And then I go to this place, my moment generated. Okay. Mm -hmm. With the supplier point with that site underscore assign underscore three three now fine so three three five so three thousand four is the one fine click on save so three thousand one fine give us save <clears throat> now click on okay close it now don't save uh, now bring it to the interface table I will not uh, no, go to monitor process and then now bring it to the interface table so click on okay <clears throat> drop it down site assignments So click on search and then do the site again. Click on search now. <clears throat> you go to that home. It is an import find percentage, sub percentage. Enter it. And it also tells you the site assignments. Now click on okay. Then drop down and then go to the data file and then click on upload a new file. I will now put the 33 three file now. The 33 three file again. And click on open. If I make a mistake, please then then point out to me. So that's what I'm going to say. We will succeed as well. Thank you. So 581 is running now. Close it now. So once we'll just copy that, we'll not try to import the supplier site assignments now. Fine. Okay. Is past running, running. So it succeeded. We'll now go to the import supplies one. So let us now run the import assignments, import site assignments, and site assignments on the board. So all I get what happens, I'm going to get about 3004. 3004 the back. So this screen itself is locked. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, escape now. I'm going to that one. Okay, now I'm going to actions and I'm going to import site as I must. Import site as I must. So the submit button is gone. That means what? We cannot submit it. So we'll now close it and then we'll now go to space. Right click and then. I can refresh the loading. Okay. okay. A refresh may come. I'm not sure about it. So click on it. We'll now go to what? The site as I must. Okay. Import supplies. Now go to supplies. Now go to import supplies. And go to actions. And then yeah, go to the site assignments. So it's all you know, 3004 to the one. And then click on submit. So now submit it. Give a cancel. So give a escape and then come out of it. Running, running. Fine, what that click on. Let's see whether this time it's succeeding or not. So 3004 to the one, Jenny. Bringing in, oh my God, everything is there. Ah, God. Click on it. And then click on it. No idea at all. Fine. What is missing on this one? Number of not important. Fine. 3004, the batch number is not coming through properly. Yeah, let's see. Sorry. See. Yeah. Withholding tax group is inactive or invalid. Ah, God. So, so withholding I mean, tax, this is the problem with the withholding tax itself. That is something is not set actually. That is why Correct. we are knowing the payables. Anybody who knows the payables actually, so that they can guide us on the withholding tax. Actually. Okay. Sir, so I will look at it maybe later on. Oh, okay. So I will <laughs> do the site assignment manually now. Let me go there okay. and do the site assignments manually. I will now go to the manage suppliers. Go to the manage suppliers. I will now do the site assignments. So P01 is the one. And click on search. <clears throat> I won't do that. So click on what happens? Edit now. Click on edit. I'll now bring it to the edit. So go there. Not done. And go to the sites. You find some other sites. And go there. Click on edit the site. And then let me do the man manual. Again. So go to the site assignments. Not done. I'll now go to the place. Fine. Go there. I will now what happens? I click on plus and then add it. Client to use what? Use one doesn't get it. So use one doesn't get it. So built unit. Ship locations what T01 and then I give a tab. So built location also T01. <clears throat> so nothing is put over here now. Fine, click on save and close and then uh, click on submit now. Fine, by which or I now see whether everything is okay or not. Save and close. So nothing on the use withholding tax. Fine, nothing is there. <clears throat> I think then it's a bug. I just Check some oh. stuff in Oracle. They are saying this bug. Oh, God. <laughs> the withholding this... tax classification name is invalid. This Similar issue. Some... Similar this issue. But... Who is this? Say the boss. Say the boss is saying that what happens is a bug actually. Fine, so change it. Let us know. Not right. sure, no, no, because it's similar no, uh, no, no, issue. Look at the purchase order, whether this supplier is coming or not. Fine, I will not go to the procurement. I will not go to the purchase orders. Let us not try to populate the supplier whether it's not coming or not. Fine. It has to come because the site assignment is a must for putting it on a purchase order actually. Fine, no, no, we should check the Excel once again. Is there any column that says use withholding tax? No. That should be no. I mean, just once. File and then go to the site assignments. You know, see, only this many columns are there. There is no. Oh, other... okay, okay. Because that was in the front end. Ideally, there should be columns say you to use without index no, and then it should go. Okay. So that may be a bug. Not able to understand. So some columns are hidden. No. 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 Hidden columns will not be there. There will not be any hidden columns. No. Everything is there. You won't have any different columns. So go there. Uh, if you open, I see some columns are hidden in that file. Second, I'm going to open it up. So, go to the file, and then here, I'm going to go to the site assignments. So, it's what A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. After I, some columns after are hidden. I. After oh, I. After I. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, double click on it. Double click on it. Inactive data is coming fine. I. Further. I O distribution set fine go that bills payables fine go that payables distribution fine. I J K L everything has to come up fine go that. So we told in that. Yeah. Hard. Okay. J fine go that. J is there. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 We have to put no. Yeah. That's how it is. Good. <laughs> Thank you. So remove it. Yes. <clears throat> Why they have hidden it there? Fine. Yeah. 
that was the thing now it fine but that now it will go up no fine so i have not done it actually if i know that so uh, i think since we have already done it it will not do anything at all okay because you we are so the marathon thing so good good who is this who has told this now uh, ramesh na ramesh ramesh fine very good fine so if you choose this no what happens it will not allow you no fine but i have already manually added fine it's okay so the so here what happens even this screen is also spoiled actually the purchase order screen is spoiled actually so if you go to the procurement and then go to the purchase orders fine they have no customized it now fine i don't know what to what to create order now fine so create order is not coming at all <laughs> oh my god it was working till last night dear <laughs> somebody has customized the screen now fine people are customizing the screen like anything now fine that is the biggest problem make lot of warranty here and there and then so this is also true now fine so this is also true you know now this is not working for me the business classification the products and services and attachments are not working fine that so if you go to the business classification fine go that i will not first of all see the business classification okay now fine not uh what i will do is i will not download a new file fine because my file is not working already fine that so i will not go to the place now fine on i will not click on what i want the supplier fine click on that i will not download the file and then i will not try to modify that file on business classification i will not go to this place <coughs> i will not show you the abc consulting and then show you now let me download the file for the business classification and all of the because i have modified it and then after modification is not working at all let us now download it what about i am not go for com so go to the place and click on the home icon and then go to the procurement go to the procurement so go to the procurement and then go to the suppliers let us now show the business classification only okay. i will now go to the managed suppliers let me go to the abc consulting now managed suppliers <clears throat> i will now go to the abc consulting abc consulting i go there and click on it if you go to the basically from there so in the business classification we have this many business classifications ready madely available nothing is available here yeah, nothing is available no business classification no products and services yeah. and then uh, what about these two things are not working for me yeah. again nothing is there so let us now download a fresh file from the internet and then do it thank you so now go to the docs.org docs. org so let me download a fresh file because for me there is no my no modify everything i did a lot of warranty but nothing is working so go to the space so is the one now thank you so i'll now go to the procurement thank you on the procurement i will now go there so is the one thank you on all books <clears throat> So go there. So I will not go to FBDA now. Go to the implementation. I will click on the HTML and let me download a fresh one now. Thank you. Go to the place. So what happens? Business classification. Fine. Click on the import supplier business classification. Fine. Click on it and then get a click. So click on the show file. Show show all. So click on show all and then let me take a copy of this. So let me take a copy. Before taking copy, what I right click on them. What I will go to the properties and then unblock it now. So uh, do an unblocking. So click on apply and then click on okay. And then, and then afterwards, I will not take a copy of it. Let me put it on the my area. <coughs> go to space. So go to the supplier report. So here I will not paste it over. <coughs> the one. Okay. So the template. Okay. The business classification. Double click on it. <coughs> we will not try to modify an existing one. Okay. The existing one will be modified. So this is the business classification. So now they have given what happens? Let me change the batch to one thousand three. One thousand three. So supplier name I will not say it's the T zero one underscore sub underscore one. Three thousand three, right? So three thousand. So three thousand three is the one. So create supplier. Name. So here what happens? You have they have not made any what happens? The classification top. How come this list of values coming? I don't know. I will not choose small business now. Oh, that will be list of values uh, from setup. Uh... There are setups fine. That is why it is not coming. Yeah. So provided by Eric Gilbert is there fine. Let us not keep it as such. So this is a confirmation date. Confirm down so and so. So is okay. So classification new. I will not have to give you a set or whatever. Fine. Classification is a new one. Fine. I will not say new one. Fine. Ah, classification, classification new. What is this? One? So let us have only one classification of this one. Fine. Now delete the remaining. Oh, so, okay. Fine. The remaining has been done. So will it work or not? And anybody has got any doubt? 
ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी जी ओ गॉट सो मेनी हिडन फॉलोअप वर्ड मैं सो डबल क्लिक ऑन इट डबल क्लिक ऑन इट ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एस टू कम नो फाइन सो डबल क्लिक ऑन इट फाइन जी इज नॉट कमिंग एट ऑल ए बी सी डी ई एफ देन ऑफ कोर्स वो इज कमिंग दे गो देयर एंड डबल क्लिक ऑन इट फाइन जी इज नॉट कमिंग एट ऑल कम ऑन वो इज सो ए बी सी डी ई एफ हाउ इज देयर so is now that you know. so certifying agency is so and so fine go that certifying agency new is nothing and there is nothing you know certification number is there sir shall i change the number of fine because it should not clash with others not anywhere so i will not change some number fine five five is a certification number you know certification number new and nothing is there oh is also there of you know so i will not say what happens eight nine seven fine some new number i will give not anywhere start date is okay fine the expiration date is also okay fine the expiration is then already expired not anywhere i will not go there i will not make it as what two three <coughs> so it doesn't expire actually so notes is what some notes is there certification some notes is okay so everything is there okay confirmed on fine is okay let it be am i okay with this now and hit on coming any other modification you need to find now all the columns are a b c d e f g h i j k every column is now visible so let us now see whether this goes into the system or not and 2003 supply everyone So small business is a classification we have given now. Fine. So certificate in what small business administration? If it doesn't work, what happens? You make an R and D. Because I have not seen the hidden column now. Fine. Now only I have not seen the hidden column now. Fine. Two thousand three hundred one. Fine. Save it. And then let us know what happens. Do it. Now go to space. So click on generate space. I will now say what happens. Is a supplier. B U S I C L E S I classification. Supply business classification. Can you click on save now? So click on save. Not on. Not on. Not on. Now go there. Close it. Click on close. And I click on don't save. Close everything. So go there. Go to the system and then bring it to the interface table. So go to the mount process. Then go there. So supply business classification is the one. Can you click on okay now? So drop down and then what happens? Choose the import now. <coughs> Good that site assignments you have found out, no fine. <laughs> Withholding taxes we made us know. <laughs> so click on search. It's called import fine. supplier. Import supplier. Fine. Click on search. So it's what's called business classification. Fine. Click on OK. The business classification. Fine. Drop it down. I will now choose the data file over. Upload a new file. Choose a file. And then it is a business classification. Busy classification. Where is it? This is the one. Supply business classification. Fine. Click on open. So click on OK. <clears throat> We are doing it. So click on sir. We are done. So let me say, give a cancel and then come on it. Now running. So supply business classification is now running. The load interface file for import is now running. And then bring in. Fine. I given three thousand three only, na? and we did remember it yes yes we change so succeed or succeed or succeed so we'll now go to this place and go there and there is a go to the suppliers area so we'll go to the manage suppliers ah what is this i'll now go to the import of and this screen itself has been closed actually so i'll now go to the import suppliers <coughs> and then let us now bring in the import class business classification to the business classification so make it as all now under 3003 <clears throat> and then click on submit now fine you know importing that that is the classification so give a cancel now to escape so so business classification is done Is there a doubt? <clears throat> so we'll now click on the output. So click on it. So now how is it? So go to the report and how is it? So click on it. How is it? So number of business classification not imported is one. Small business administration. The attribute must be blank. Then the action is create or delete actually. 
it was there no certificate number new oh, certificate number must be blank ah huh? this is what is saying na huh? what it is saying huh? the attribute must be blank and certificate number or what is what must be the certificate blank? number new attribute yeah. is there in the file oh ho oh, oh. ho fine we are given uh, the value is what 9987123456 that must be blank or what so i think this number must be blank i think fine that is what is saying am i correct a yeah, supplier contact cannot be derived from the record actually and next one is what small business administration go to the excel sheet and maybe check check back in the excel excel sheet uh, business classification <clears throat> so certification of this certificate number new must be blank i think that is what yeah is. this 98 right. so let us not delete it now so that is what it is saying huh? okay come so this value must be blank okay fine the first line is address what is the second line small business small business fine that so is okay and a yeah, supplier contact cannot be derived for this record actually provided by contact id actually the supplier contact cannot be derived and what is this the supplier contact cannot be derived so it is now asking for a supplier contact actually Nothing is there. Hmm. We'll now see whether this works or not. Okay. There is no such supplier contact. Create certifying agency. Fine. Create certifying agency. The one which is no yes now. Fine. So certifying agency is one now. Fine. We are now trying to create it actually. So shall I use the existing one? I will not say no to it now. Certifying agency. I will not make it as no. Now. So create certifying agency. I will not make it as a no. Now. because it, it looks like it is already there actually the system the comment so i know made there is no and then what about the remove the number also no made two modifications fine with that so click on it fine with that am i okay <clears throat> any other modification so in this place what about there no given new number also 3004 i have no given so change the batch id huh batch id change yeah change it on 3004 i change it the batch id will be changed. So create certificate agency is not because agency is already there actually. So go to this place. I will now go to the place. It's a business classification. Let's go to the next one. Number one. So is a supplier. B U S I. I will now say two two. Supplier busy. Busy two two. So three thousand four. The one. I will now close it. Don't save. Now come over here. Now close this report. Not closed. I will now go to what one process and then run it again. <clears throat> Business classification the one. So drop it down. One more year. So click on it. Input process one more year. Click on search. It's called import. I go to the import supply. Is a business classification. So drop down, and then choose this file. Upload a new file. Choose a file. <clears throat> the two two is the one. The business classification. Supplier busy two two. So the business classification. Click on it. Click on it. And then submit it. <clears throat> so six zero seven is the concurrent which is running now. So can I cancel? Escape six zero seven. Is it moving? So till now everything is a success. Even site assignments we have found out there is a no. And now what about the business classification? Yes, check it. Check. So it's not succeeded. Till now, till now go to what import supplier? <clears throat> go there. I will not. What about import business classification? Three thousand four. Oh, it's not coming. Fine. We escape. Uh, I will not refresh it. And there is no refresh icon. I will not enter it and then refresh it. What actions? And then go to the import business classification. I will not say all. There is three thousand four. Three thousand four. The one. The submit button is not coming. My this tab region itself is big. Are we here? Right click and then duplicate. Make a new tab region. 
So click on the start icon and then I go to the import suppliers. <clears throat> And then let me import it. Okay, good actions. I'm going to import business classification. So go there. Lol. So give 3004. So click on submit. So yes, I'm very good. So 3004. So give a cancel. My escape. I'm going to And then refresh it. So we are refreshing it. My business classification is now running. Hey, Muruga, give me the result. I don't want an error. Oh God, it is random an error actually. Take a moment. There must be some nodes available with the Oracle. No? If you have your own structure, you can try on that. And because it's all working on a vision structure. Now, when something, something is set and then something is not coming properly. So that is why we are unable to work on okay? Try to work on your whatever there in your own structure and then see whether everything is coming on. So click on it. Number of each one. Again, the value provided is invalid now. Find small business administration Chicago. Find some other error is coming now. <laughs> this is invalid. Certifying agency is invalid now. I think Nana, oh. we said no, so we should remove oh. all those. Oh, this also we had to remove it now. Find certifying agency. Yeah. Also I thought it will not check it, but it is checking some. Oh, God. Since we are given that as a no, so we will now remove the certifying agency also. So create certificate agents, no fine. I will not remove it now. So certificate agency is removed. Certificate number also will not remove it now. Because certificate agency itself is not, that means what? I will not remove every other dates also. Dates are also not meaningful. Yeah. Okay. Certificate removal. Remove everything. Remove everything and remove everything. So that's it. That is your whatever is all done. So we are now giving only a small business classification, but nothing is now fine. So create certificate agency is no fine. Am I correct? Shall I go ahead now? So I will now make it as about 3005 now. 3005. In reality, what happens? You have to fill up all these things now. I don't know how to do all these things now. So we'll now see whether it works or not. So we'll now have small business now. So small business is the one which you're doing in a fine with nothing. Shall I go ahead? Okay, fine. So nobody has got any comments. Okay, fine. We'll now go there. So we'll now go there. So click on generate CS but you know, right now. <clears throat> so I will now say supplier right? uh, B U S I business classification three three now. Right? So I will now say supplier business classification fine with that. I will now put three three now. Supplier busy three three. Thank you. So click on save. <clears throat> so click on okay. So that close it and don't save. Then go to this place. Then go there and then run it for the business classification. <clears throat> Drop it down. So I'll make a search. Make a search. Oh God. So many problems. I'm going to search. So go there. Let's see what the import percentage. Sub percentage. Import supplier. So is a business classification. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So no doubt. Don't search. Drop it down. Go there. Upload a new file. Then uploading a new file. So choose a file. Uh, it is 3 3 now. So click on OK. So by which whatever you are doing now. So the uh, recording icon is there now for you. <clears throat> so click on submit. So click on OK. So escape then verify for you. Somebody can confirm me that the recording icon is there in your screen. Yes, yes. load interface file by import number. So without any certifying agency, we are not trying to import it. <clears throat> it is not succeeded. I know that. Now go to this place. Uh, import supplier. So close it now. With the actions. So then go to the import business classification. Supplier business classification. So it is a 3005. 3005. Oh, it is not coming. So the screen is lost actually. So close it. So now go there. Right click on the duplicate and mount it a new screen. <clears throat> so go to the star icon and then here, whatever you go there, go to the import suppliers. And on the import suppliers. <clears throat> yeah. Go to actions and then whatever the import supplier business classification. Import supplier business classification. And go to all. So 3005 is the batch number. 3005. And then click on submit. 
So it has succeeded actually. We'll not go on then view it now. So click on it. We'll now open this file again. And click on it. So number of uh, classifications imported is one now. So it's not coming. So no import from the government. Small business has got imported. But if there is a certifying agency, how to do it? You have to learn now, fine. So that is the important one. If you have a certifying agency, you have to learn it also. So it's not coming. So we'll now see on the system also. We'll now go to the managed suppliers and how about the business. So go to the managed suppliers. We'll now see whether the small business has got added or not. Right? So, so click on search. Click on search. <clears throat> so business classification also we succeeded. And click on it. So click on it. I will now go to what? Profile and then go to the business classification. Go to the profile. And then go to the business classification. The small business has to come and it's coming. Go to report. Everything is good. So go ahead. Now we'll now go for the next one. Now. Thank you. We'll now go to the next one. So up to business classification, we have succeeded. Now, we'll now go to the next one. So, we'll go to the so go there. So business classification. Next is what? Products and services. Go Supplier products and services. Go so double click on it. We'll now go to the products and services. Seventh one, we are going for it. Up to six, we have succeeded. Now, fine. That's great, actually. We'll go so go there. I will now say batch ID is 3003. Fine. 3003. Fine. So the type is browsing now. Fine. Drop it down. Fine. It is a purchasing. Fine. When I made a browsing, it is not coming. I will not change it to purchasing and then. Leave. So when I made it as a browsing, it was not coming. I will not change it to purchasing and then computer. Now. So what happens? The category name is computer. The category must be available there actually. Fine. So we will not see whether the category is available or not. We will not go to the place. We will not see whether the category is available or not. Duplicate. Not duplicate. We will not see whether the category is available or not. The purchasing. Click on it. So go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> that may be a mistake actually. And go there, click on it. So click on search now. Fine, click on search. And then I will also say it's called manage percentage. Fine. Functional. Fine. Percentage. Kata percentage. Fine. I go to the manage functional kata. And go there, it. I will now go to the purchasing and then have a look at whether we have computers or not there. So go to the place. Fine. Purchasing. Fine. Entry now. I will now select it. And then click on the hyperlink of it. And then have a look at it. <clears throat> Must see all the categories for there. On the functional cutoff, we are not going to have it. So, what happens? We go there, click on it. So, the category name, when if you expand it, it will not come. If you expand this, what I will not show. <clears throat> oh, there is no such computer at all. In category name, I will not query on the CO, EMP, and then make a search. You know, click on search. You see the computer is there or not. Oh, God. It is computer supplies. Fine. Computer category name is computer supplies. No? What is the category code is also there? I will do one thing. I will not create a category now, right? because there is a on name code. Everything is there. I'm coming. Thank God. So let me create a new category. Thank you. <clears throat> I will now make one new category. Thing over. It is a T01 underscore computers. Fine. So it will So T01 computers the one I'm creating. It. Click on the category code that will be coming automatically and go the description also in PSD. So go there. So click on OK by which whatever the new category of the purchasing is now created. The new category of purchasing is now created. So you go to this place, top place, nothing more. It will be available. T01 underscore computers now. So let us now put that in this place now. Fine. We'll now go there. It is a T01 underscore computers. Okay, fine. This is the only name. Fine. Category name is for purchasing. Fine. Click on okay. There is no one. So let us now bring in now. Fine. 3003 is the one. So whatever the product is a product now. Click on it. Any other outs? Fine. It's okay. Click on it. Now go to the generate CSV file for product. I will now say supplier underscore product. Product underscore one. <laughs> because if it fails, we have to make a modification. So supplier product one. Fine. Click on save now. You know, saving it. So click on save. <clears throat> fine. Go there. So close it. And go there. Don't save. And then we will not try to bring in the base save. Now go there. So go to this place and then here what happens? You go to the what import suppliers, import suppliers. Uh, not this one. I have to go to what 
the monitor process na fine the monitor process and then we'll not run it first of all bring it to the interface table na fine we'll bring it over so drop it down and then here or then go there and then click on it <coughs> import process is the one import process is the one fine fine it's what i'm saying i'm not bringing in so click on search now fine is a products and services fine yeah it is called import fine percentage fine and then suppliers and how many are there now fine i am able to see the people's name here now how many of you are there in the, the product so go there product and services so five people are there at least or somebody has left now <laughs> so click on the upload upload now fine click on the choose file so it is a product now fine yeah so it's a product one so click on it so click on okay <clears throat> so click on submit anybody there or i am only speaking <laughs> no 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 i am there i can see tijil and ram okay so how many only three are there huh? others have left mm. huh? <laughs> i have off today so so the load interface file is now running now is a very tough one i don't know how people are importing this suppliers now fine so really a very tough task actually <laughs> supplier import is really tough task mm. supplier and customer both in fact supplier is more go to the import now fine i'll go to the action and then i'll go to the products and service categories product and service categories and then i'll put 3003 over there now 3003 over there so click on submit now it's very good So till now you have succeeded on it. Right? Six of them you have succeeded. Now we are in the seventh one actually. This should work, Anna, because that we defined the new item there for the category. So, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is there? Because there are only four fields. So click on here, no, click on it. Over there. Product is obviously not imported from product. Then the value provided is invalid. Category name T zero one computer is invalid. So that we have to provide the category name actually. But it's the same, right, sir? Category it's a name, yeah. The name and code is same. Yeah, What's... name and code, everything is same actually, and the value is not provided for it. So that means what? Somewhere else we have to add this category actually. Right? The supplier category we have to add now. The supplier category we are adding. So go there. I will do one thing. I will now have a look at other places. So okay. is it from PIM, sir? Huh? No, no, sir. Is it coming from PIM? No. Yeah, it's only PIM. Twenty zero one computer. Yeah. Yeah. So the code, the code is there. Can you click on details, sir? No, no. Everything is same. No, fine. I, I will not click on it. Uh, right, right side you see details. Detail. There, the category <laughs> name. Everything. Code. Is same. Aha. Okay. Yeah. It should be. Should no, work, not then. this one actually. Fine. This yeah. category is a supplier category. I got it now. Fine. Brother. So go there. So uh, can you change that start date, maybe? No, which one? Start date is all okay, man. Is the twenty sixth? It's not a start date problem. So go there. This is not the category. It is not the supplier category actually. <coughs> go there. Come on. <laughs> I will not go to the suppliers. Let me go to the ABC Consulting <coughs> and click on. I will not go to the ABC Consulting. Man, go to the managed suppliers. <coughs> <coughs> so click on okay. It is ABC, and then I click on search. Click on search. ABC consulting is the one. I will not bring it to the edit mode now. First of all, when bring it to edit mode, so I will not go to the products and services. Fine, I will not go to the product services. Go to actions, and then go to select and add. So here only we have to use whatever is available. Fine, these are all the what happens the products and services which are there actually. Fine, if we expand it, fine, computer supplies we expand it. So. This is the one computer packing. Fine, go there. So you have to add an item category now. Fine, click on it. Now see whether it is an item category or not. So computer supplies is a browsing category. Fine, there. Computer packing is it not? Sir, item? can you try yours? It should be there as T. Just search it. Ah, category name is what? T zero one. And then I click on search. It is not there. Ah, uh -huh. it is not uh -huh. there. I know that. So 
one. Why it is not coming there? No, no. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is a different one. Now. No? It is a supplies, oh. products and services, which is a lookup, actually. Oh. It is actually a lookup. I know that. It is a lookup. And then uh, through that lookup only, it is coming, actually. It is a lookup, actually. Yeah, I remember it. It is a lookup. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not fitness accessory, fine, except. So I will not put fitness accessory. No. <clears throat> so I will not put fitness accessory over there. So this is the one now. So it you is have a, to find code. This is a category. This is a code actually. So this is a browsing. It is a, it is a directory and then this is a file. And fitness accessory is the one. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. I will not go to space. Thank you. No open up. File. It is basically a lookup category of this one. So go there. I will not paste it over here. Fitness season, find the purchasing. Go and come in. So I won't change it to what 3400. I won't change it to what 3400. Come in. This time, Muruga, give it to me. 3400 the one. I'm going to go to the generate. The supplier, and the product, and two. So one was there. The other two, and supplier product, and click on save. <clears throat> so click on save. No, no. So close it. Don't save my file. I will not go to the space. I will not go to the space. I will not go to what one process and then run it. Supply products and categories. So go back to that. So drop down and then choose this. So go to the search. No, thank you for search. And then here. I'm going to say import right? supplier. Click on search. Import. So it is a supply products and categories, products, services, <laughs> products and services categories. I will not drop down. So click on upload a new file. So choose a file. Yeah. It's what's called a supply product. I will not break it. I click on OK. And then submit it. <clears throat> So it is 3004 is a number, batch number. Thank you. So 670 is the one which is running now. Thank you. Thank you. Then wait for it to complete. 670 is now running. It is a lookup actually. I know that it is a lookup. The supplier product and category is a lookup now. Fine. If you look at my Excel sheet now, fine, it will not show you the lookup name also. Uh, I will not open now. Open. I will not show you from this page. So I will not show you from this page. It is a lookup actually. Uh, I will not go to this place. I will not open the profession procurement training. <clears throat> I have the name also available there. So click on it. It's a fusion procurement worksheet. So in one of the modules, I have given this name actually. Okay? Supplier look up okay? supplier qualification and loss one. This is basically. Supplier products and services is a lookup actually. Fifth pillar, sixth pillar, so the sixth pillar. Uh, there is a lookup actually. Supplier products and categories is a lookup actually. I'm not remembering it exactly where. So, over there, it's a lookup. But I remember it, it was a lookup actually. And you'll not go to the what's called supplier qualification and see the supplier qualification. Ah, this is the one. Fine. This is the one which is the lookup actually. Supplier products and services category hierarchy. This is the lookup. If you go there and then query it now, it will not show you the lookup now. So go this place. I don't know. I'm going to give a cancel now. Close it. Don't come in. Right click and then duplicate. I will not show you. Is a lookup actually. So this lookup will be giving you. So click on set up a menu. And then go there. So go to the search. Paste it over there. So this is actually a lookup. So these are lookups. So in the fitness components, so we can even create a browsing as well as an item category. It's an item category. Is a lookup actually. So in this place, it has to be there now. My T01 has to be inserted over here. Then only it will be available there. So go there. So if you expand it, what happens? If you go to the computer supplies, you know that more. I will now insert an item category. If you go and then insert it, then it will come. You find T01, you go there and then click on search. You know, if you go and then insert it, whatever, then it will come. Oh God, it is not coming at all. So, so that means what? This category is not our category at all. <laughs> I thought that it will be our category now. Right? 
you know expand it and that you may have to what about that uh, okay you have to keep your customer the browsing area and then insert the item categories and it is not coming at all i think name is 301 you can search now not coming at all the description is 301 i thought that we can very well insert it so somewhere they are creating the category actually no idea at all and some make an r and d also fine with it so now what happens you go to the monitor process no fine with it go to the monitor process from there so click on it so it would have got completed no fine with it 670 was the one which is running actually the so 670 has now succeeded no fine with it so well done so 670 is now completed so no go there everything is complete you will now go to what import no fine go to supply import no fine with it so go to the manage supplies oh god you can see so we will not import it no fine click on it we'll now go to the import so go to the import suppliers fine with it import suppliers so go there so i will now go to actions and then go to products and services categories so i now see all no fine what is the number i given 3004 only na no? oh god it must be 3004 only yeah 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 change click on submit so 3004 i should have changed it to 3005 actually fine i don't know i have not done it actually We'll now have a look at whether I have given the number properly or not. Find out. What is this? What is the file? And then open up this now. Find supply products and services. The three thousand four one. Okay. So fitness necessary. Click on it. Open the place. Refresh it and see whether it comes up. Succeeded. Aya, we got it. So click on the view output. Find out. View output. So click on it. Now see. Fine. Number of uh, categories imported is one now. Fine with that. One is coming. Fine with that. Not. It's not showing anymore. There's no more. Fine with that. So purchasing and then fitness necessary is coming. Fine for supply. So that's so, what so, it's so. about. So go there and then have a look at the supplier itself. Fine. Fine. Now go to the managed suppliers. Fine with the managed suppliers. There are no queries. Fine. Fine. T zero one the one. I'm going to query it. Fine. T zero one. Fine. Let me make a search. Now fine. Click on search. No sense. So the last one we are in now. Fine again. That is a very tough one now. Fine. I am unable to understand that now. <laughs> I am unable to understand that actually. It is actually at association actually. Fine. Go there. So click on T zero one. Click on search now. Most of the search will. What? None of the places now coming. So click on. Oh, still searching, searching, searching. <laughs> so the last one I will again import and then do it now. Fine because it was failing for me again. I will not import it because this itself is not working. So let something is not working means what? We will not go there and then we will not right click and then duplicate. Now right click and then duplicate. Or instance has become slow or what? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, it is going to come now. Fine. It will be coming because it is already imported actually. Fine. So instance is slow. Now let us now go there and then download the last one. Fine, last one is also not working for me. Then I made it. And the eighth one is not working. Attachments is not exactly working. Fine, let me download a new file and then do it. So up to seven we have succeeded. Now fine, up to seven we have succeeded. Eighth one, what happens? I didn't succeed at all. So let us now download a new one. Let us now go there. Tomorrow. I will now download a new one. It is attachment. It is a very tough one. I couldn't understand exactly. So supplier assignment is there. Fine, where is the attachment? So manage supply attachment. I will now go to the manage supply attachment. So let me do on the download it. So I will now click on show all. So I will now show in the folder. I will now right click and then what happens? I will now go to the properties and then unblock it first of all. Unblocking it. Right click on apply and then download. So I will now take a copy of it now. So take copy. It. I will now put it on my folder now. What is this? I will now go to the supply import. I will now paste it over. Supply attachment. Let us now open it up. So click on it. So let us now open it up. So go there. So I will now go to the first tab. So go there. So here there are so many things are there. Then why I am now totally confused? Ah, uh, I will now have only one category now. Let us now delete all these. So I will now say it is a three thousand three. Go there. The three eight. Go there. It is a is a T zero one underscore sub underscore one now. So to buyer actually fine. The category is to buyer now. So I am not going to have an attachment to the buyer actually. Yes. Or shall I send it to the supplier now? Shall I send to whom now? We created two supplier from front end. Yeah, two so from supplier now. Okay, fine. You know, say from supplier, or what to do? Fine, two supplier or from supplier? Two supplier. Two supplier. I will not make it now. Two supplier. Fine. The type is a file now. Fine. Drop it down. You know, say file text and then URL now. 
So shall I make it as a URL now? Fine. In the file, what happens? The file is not working at all. Fine. So let me make it as a URL. Fine. Click on the URL. URL. Text will be simplest. Uh, okay. Fine. Is what it is. So text is a simple one. You are saying now. Fine. Go there. So click on text now. Fine. So text is a simple one. Fine. Go there. So text, I will now say test text. Test text. Fine. Text I am attending. So file attachment. If you go on and read it now, fine. Identify the dot zip file that contains the files for the file type attachment. The column is designed to accept only the dot zip file name and not a path actually. The dot zip file must be uploaded to the POZ in museum. It is not a file at all. Fine, go there. Not needed. Yeah, yeah, not needed. So title let it be there. Description also let it be there. Shall I okay? Fine. So we'll now see whether this attachment goes or not. Fine. I will now delete the remaining two. Okay. So the one. I will now go to the next step. So there are three tabs. Just there is a supplier profile attachment. So go to the supplier site assignments. Oh God, sorry. <laughs> you go to the space. Fine. Batch ID is what three thousand three. And what I got it is a what happens? Import action is what create and then create is one of that. So supplier name is what t zero one underscore sub underscore one. No fine. So procurement view. I will not take it up from the other one. No fine. Watch. I will not. What happens? I go to the space. Fine. I will not take up the procurement view from the other one. So, go to the supply report. So, I will now have it on the address procurement view is there or where exactly the procurement view is there? Mm, supply site import. You know, site US, import. One, US one business unit. Yeah, I want to know the exact name of it. So, this is the one. So, this is the one. Of it. So, procurement view is the one. Of it. I will now put the procurement view over there. Those one doesn't get it. So su supplier site is what site one site space one. Yeah. So category to buyer. Uh, this is okay, fine. So it is not a file; it is a text actually. Text. No. I will now say what about that? the file text one. I will now say test text two. No, fine. That is the text. Then the text. Two. So this is not required. No. Let us not leave the right level. So the second is also completed. No, fine. That is there's no having a text two. Fine. The first one. What about we are having a test text actually. In this place, what happens in the site assignment? We are having test text two, and then the third one, and I'm not going to the business classification. Business classification. Oh, wow, brain. So we have only small business available there. Certifying agency, I'm going to remove it now. Certification number, and then the category. Fine. I will not remove everything on this one. Or I should not do anything at all on this one. Business classification attachments. So type is what. Or shall I do it? Now fine, go text. I'm gonna go there. It is what I'll now say test text three. Fine. Test text three. I'm gonna go okay. Shall I do like this now? I will not make it as what? 3003. I will not delete the balance lines. Are you okay? I'm gonna go there. So I will not delete the balance lines. All DD. Fine. I will not test. It is a test text three. T E S T. Test text three. So some uh, what about the file attachments the dot zip is there. Fine, let us remove it. And title is there. Title is okay. And title is okay. Title and description okay. Fine. No file attachments. No certification number. Nothing is there. So text is there. So we have a commit. So the third sheet is now committed. Fine, that. The third sheet is committed. And we'll go to the second sheet. Fine. On second sheet is also I no remove everything. All TD. So three thousand three. Fine, that. It's okay. It's okay. By text. Text is there. No file attachment. This is also correct. No commit. I'll now go to the first sheet. Thank you. Delete it. Text. I will not make it as one. No attachment. It's okay. We'll not try with this. Something on it. We'll not try with this. It's okay. Can I try it? Anybody has got any comments? This is okay now. Fine. Sigil, it's okay now. Ah, yes, sir. Yeah, it looks it looks okay now. Only thing is that um <laughs> little title or subscription it should not read. Title is okay. Uh, that will only accept yeah. no, fine. That will not give any problem. That's what I feel now. Fine. I will not say supplier. Fine. Attach one fine. Supplier attach one. Okay. So click on save. <clears throat> so there are three sheets are there. Fine. Click on save. This is the first sheet. Fine. Click on save. This is the second sheet. And then I click on save. This is the third sheet. So three sheets are I will now close it. Don't save now. Don't, don't save. And then close this. Fine. Then I will now go there. Go to the system. And then I will not try to import it. 
So you know, go to the monitor process and click on the scheduling process. Up to seven, we have succeeded. I know that we have succeeded everything. In that. So, <clears throat> what I think is that the supplier was not working for the seventh one. The products and categories we are unable to see it actually, and we'll again see it along with that. So, on the small business unit, there is an attachment text is there. You know, see so, click on scheduling process. So, by which one is that you get any. So the final one is now running. The eighth one is now running with the text we are attaching. So it's a very, very tough task. Why they have made this many Excel sheets and then they did not find how they are going to really import. If you have thousands of supplies to be imported, the work is really very difficult, no? Correct, sir. It is really tough. Supplier is really, really tough. Yeah. I did once only. Uh -huh. I forget that. Almost, I think, two years or two and a half years have Oh God, the system itself is not working now. So go there. I will not open up nothing like that. So I will not open up on another tab digit nothing like that. So this is not, but it's filled with so many data like that. So I will not go to Mozilla and then I will not try it. I will go to Mozilla. Paste it. The Mozilla let me try it. So over there is a PRC 10 <laughs> dot student sign in. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So click on it. Will not go to what? Will not bring it in. I click on the oh my icon. And then I will not go to the monitor process now. Oh, instance itself has now become slow. Now go to the monitor process. Will not do the load interface file file port. So click on setting new process. Now do the load interface file file port. And the last activity also. Load interface file file port. So go there. Click on OK now. And loading it. So drop it down. <clears throat> So go there, click on search. <clears throat> import to the supplier. So click on search. Import supplier. And then go there. It is attachments. Uh, I will not go the size I am. I don't know like this is address. So supplier attachments. <clears throat> so go there. So the data file is what? So click on upload a new file. So click on browse. <clears throat> I will now see from this paper. <coughs> no, go to the supplier import. <coughs> Zip files, <coughs> supplier attach one. Click on OK. So click on OK, by which what happens? It is now getting pushed into the interface tables of the supplier import. So click on submit. So click on submit. Thank you. So no, query for it. So go the load interface file for interface running now. So in the meantime, what happens? I now right click and then duplicate now. Duplicate is not there at all. So I only have to copy and load. So I will not take a copy of it and then I will now add a new page now. So click on plus and then let me add a new page. The supplier import will be done with the payable stream and really, really very, very difficult for someone. <laughs> and we have done very simple things now, fine. So by which what happens, we are able to succeed times, okay. I'll now see whether my load interface file is now succeeded. My load interface file is now succeeded. I will go to this place. And then we'll not perform an import now. And click on it. Click on it. We'll now go to what? Import suppliers now. And click on import suppliers. We'll now go to this place and click on it. Go to actions and then what happens? Attachments. So import supplier attachments we are doing. So I will now say all and then 3003 is the number. So click on submit. <coughs> so it's running, running. So we are given a simple text for attachment actually. So click on it. Oh God, error. 
click on it and see here. Save file. So this goes into this area. So when you click on the report, it So it is now saying what number of business classification and not imported is one actually. So profile attachment is imported, fine. All these things are one, 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 it's fine. So pro supplier profile attachment is imported is one. And then the site assignment is one. There are two of them have succeeded, remember. Fine. Only one is not succeeded, actually. You got it now, fine. So only business classification attachment has not submitted, but profile attachment has now got submitted. And then site attachments also has got submitted, has, has succeeded, actually. Clear, Tijin? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Only yeah, that's not... good. Only one. Let's see the error now. <laughs> <laughs> go there, click on it, go on and find that. So this is okay. Uh, supply attachments not imported is zero. And then this is what profile attachments not imported is zero. And then I want to go on. So here, what happens is a business classification agent not imported. So mm -hmm. what is the one on test text three? You must enter a value for the attribute attachment category. Oh, we did, right? Or we, yeah. no, we or said like right? Yeah, yeah. But, but we supplier one, it is no saying. And the value supplier one. Better name is supplier one. And we'll now open up the file. We'll now open up the sheet of file. It is for the yeah. business classification of file. We'll now open up the file. Find if you want it. file supplier side import template. It is the attachment supplier attachment import. So on this, what happens? We'll now go to the business classification of file. The business classification. So oh God, I made a mistake here. That is <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> but it will work. So the two worked. So we know that text so, simple so, so, so two zero one underscore what was a sub underscore one. That is the reason that is not working. So then now go to this place, nothing. Like so now go to this place. You know, so a supplier one is a wrong one. That's okay. You must know, okay. have the value for that. Whatever the attribute attachment category. And there is one thing which is not coming. That be, that was is it that null attachment category? You now go there and see nothing. So, click on it. so attachment category. Yeah. So it should, yeah. Be <laughs> it should be two supplier or from well, yeah, from It's also null. And that is very simple. So almost all the problems are solved now. Yeah, just basic. So attachment category is null. You must enter a value for the attachment category. Okay. We have now corrected all the errors now. So we'll now go that one. In the meantime, what we'll do is we'll now check whether the other ones are come or not. Thank you. Not this place. Whatever we we'll go there. So we'll now see whether the other ones are come or not. I will now have a look at it now. Before we import the final one, we'll now take it up with. We'll now see whether other things have come or not. Thank you. Plus one. So mistakes are okay, but but if there is any other problem, it will be very difficult. Okay, we will now go to the what import suppliers from that. We will now go to manage suppliers. I will now click on this. Now find that one. I will now go to the manage suppliers. We will now query the supplier. We will now see the other attachments where come. So T zero one. First of all, the products and services has to be seen. Now find it. We will now go to this place. Fine. Click on the hyperlink of it. Fine. Click on the hyperlink and go that. In this place, what happens? You go to the business classification has come now. Fine. In the products and services, we'll now see whether you're able to see it or not. Fine. Oh God, it's not coming here at all. No, front end is coming attachment. I can see here pricing sheet for supplier one. If you see. One second, one second. On in place. In general. In general, now fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last, last right side. Right side. Right. Attachment. Attachments. Pricing sheet for supplier one is now coming. Fine. <coughs> This is the attachment number. If you click on it now, it will now show you the attachment. Uh, save a file, you now see this now. So we'll now have a look at it. So this is the pricing sheet for supplier one thing. So test text one is coming. Very good. It is not coming. So test text one is coming. So attachments on the general area, the profile area is not. And coming. then text two was a site level attachment. Well, that should also come. Site level. You now go to the site level. So click on it. Uh, right side. Right yeah. side. If you click on it, the test two will be coming. And text to us Click on save and click on it. And then go there. And go to this place. A simple text are coming. If you are going to attach a URL and all, you have to see that test text two is also coming. And go there. So the final one is the business classification, which is not coming. And go there. That's okay. And go there. So here, the products and services also has to come. Now, fine, it is not coming. Fine. Click on it. I will not edit it now. I will not bring it to edit mode. I am not going to edit mode. And go to the profiles area. And so I am in the edit mode. Yeah, click on the profile area. In the profile area, products and services has to come. In fact, on it. Not coming at all. It's not coming at all. Why it's so? <clears throat> because we imported it. Now, fine. We didn't have any problem at all. It says that oh. what the filtering or something within the category was there. No? Fine. Yeah, right. Correct. Uh, while doing it, what happens? It showed me a proper one now. So here it's all okay. 
get certificate agency is all okay fine go ahead it's all okay one second <clears throat> certification done okay it's all okay fine. but the products and services is not visible at all i don't know why it's so <clears throat> so now let us now correct this sheet and then again run it now so the third one is on the business classification attachment isn't it <coughs> am i correct <clears throat> the business classification attachment is it am i correct yes yes so go there click on it you now see this one so it is a business classification business attachment we are now correct everything now fine so click on it and just Will not run it now. No change is uh, yeah. Batch. Batch. I will not say it's a four now. Yeah. Make it as a four. You want me to change every year? Batch ID. Yes, sir. That's Batch ID. It. It's already in traffic. Traffic is on four. The one point coming. So I will not say it is a four four now. Fine with that. I will not see whether any new attachment is going on. No four four. And then the previous sheet what happened there? No go there. Go there. So click on okay. The previous sheet also what happened there? No make it as what two two now. It was a new attachment fine for me. And then I make it as 3004. 3004 is a 22. Fine. Here, what happens if you go on and see here, it is a 3004. It is a uh, 33. We'll not make it as 33. Fine. 33 is the one. Fine. Commit. We'll go there. Put the first sheet now. Fine. Put on the first sheet. Go to the first sheet. And then here, it is a 3004. So, 3004 is the one. So, I'm not making it as what? 11. Let me see whether additional attachments are going there or not. And what I want to see. Whether, so it's okay. Fine. So, come on, come on. so let us not do it. Now. Fine, come on. Attachment. Fine. Fine. Put on genetic sales. Fine. Go there. Do the supplier attach. Fine. Two, two. <clears throat> supplier attach. Two. Supplier attach. Is one. Attach one is there. The two, two. Now. Fine. Click on save. <clears throat> so it has got multiple files. Now. Fine. Click on save. So click on save. So click on save. So the only thing is the products and services is not coming. We'll not run it, run it again now. Fine, we'll not see that. Yes. No, no. We'll not go to this place. Uh, we'll not go to this area. Fine. So I will not go to what? Monitor process and then run it again. Shared new process. I'm in the, uh, what happens? Here? Mozilla browser actually. Fine, because they, that sheet is not, that browser is not full. So it's not working properly. So we are in the Mozilla browser. Fine, click on it. So import process, no drop down. Oh God, I really pity the finance guys. <laughs> they are only going to import the suppliers. And then if the supply chain team is asked to import it, they had it now. <laughs> import process, right? Import percentage, supplier percentage. I don't know why Oracle has made it so difficult actually. It is really not at all correct. When import supplier attachments. One sheet, what happens? Fill up everything and then it has to wait. Import supplier attachments. Drop it down. Then click on upload a file. So click on browse. <clears throat> and I say two two. Click on okay. So click on okay. And then submit it. <clears throat> and that too, we have done a simple one. The URL and other things has to be filed, and the URL has to be tested actually. <laughs> and go that click on it. I'm not running. Load interface file for import. So this is a load interface file for it has not succeeded. Not succeeded. Everything has succeeded. It will now go to the import suppliers and then import it. And go to actions. And then here what happens? Will now go to what? Import supplier attachments. And I'll say all. Fine, go there. Is it 3004 the one? So click on submit. Okay. <clears throat> At least we did in a simple fashion. What happens? It's all doing enough. Is it running? Okay. So previously it has got an error actually. Fine. Only one is the error, but even then it has not shown as the error now. Fine. Now succeeded. Fine. Click on it. Now click on it. Now click on it. So go to the save file. Click on it. Now coming over. Now go to the report. Now. So, go there. so all the three are now on supplier attachment profile imported fine imported everything so everything is now one 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 here at the bottom as well not imported is zero fine here also not imported is zero and then not imported is zero 
So text 1-1 one, one has got imported, and then 2-2 two, two has got imported, and then 3-3 three, three has also got imported. Is that the so we'll now go on and have a look at the map. I'm going to go to the manage suppliers. And then here, I'll now give a cancel, or otherwise I'll now go to the business class again. Okay, I'll now give a cancel, give a cancel, and then requery now. <clears throat> and then re-query now. We click on done and then come out of it. And then search again. And then we now go to this place. Let's search again. So you go to this place, click on it. And then I go to this place, go to the business classification. We have to see the attachment. Click on it. So the 33 has to come up. And oh god, it's come up. And click on the pricing sheet for the uh, one now. And click on it. And now go there. Click on save now. And the attachment is coming. So now see the attachment. And 33 is coming. Fine. It is now giving you what pricing sheet for the company, so on, so on, so on. Whatever you're given, I think is also coming. And then you'll now see on the previous one, now fine. In this place, there will be one more, now fine. So there are two attachments of that. So pricing sheet attachment for supplier one. So there must be two attachments, now fine. One and 11, now. See, both the attachments are seen. Now. So click on it, open it up. So text one is not shown here. And then maybe if you click on this, now fine, one more is not shown there. And if you click on it, one more will be shown here. Yes, both these are. So the last exercise is what? The products and services. Let me again import it. So go to the import supplies. Let me again do the import for the products and services. Because that one, it gave properly. Now, fine. There is no error at all. Fine. Products and services succeeded. Now, fine. So if you click on this one now, fine. It is not showing properly, but it didn't show me there. Now, fine. So I will now go to what? Import products and services. We will again report it. Now, fine. Now, see. I'll go there. Click on the hall now. And then it must be what 3004, I think. 3004. Click on submit. It has submitted properly. And then finally, it didn't show up. And this place it was showing correctly. <laughs> so, by which we are now succeeded in all the eight. Now. Great. <laughs> there is one more thing called bank accounts, also. Fine. So, that is a what happens? A financial activity. So, no, share these templates, sir, the final templates. Huh? Yeah, yeah. The final template 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 template. Template. Yeah. Upload it into our uh, whatever the direct. I'll not do it first. Yeah. Click on so that you can use those templates actually. <laughs> yeah, that is important. That will be easy actually. So click on save and go again. So go to this place and click on it. Go to the repos one. It says what? Nothing. Oh God. 3004 may be wrong. Maybe 3003, I think. You know, fine. It may be 3003, I think. And, uh, not on the 3003. So click on actions, products and services. It may be 3003 only. Oh, like Nana, when we gave last time, can we see the output? Because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll not see them. We'll not running. So the previous one, fine, when I succeeded, fine, if we click on the output of it, now we'll see the output. So click on it. We'll see this. So save it. Report. It says number of products that is imported is one actually. So uh, not imported is zero. It is not showing when purchasing and then fitness accessory has gone. Product and services has gone there. And total number of products are imported is one actually. Oh, supplied is P01, Nana. P01. <laughs> File. <laughs> <laughs> that is a mistake, actually. <laughs> so I made so can we see this, this supplier sir, it should be there? Huh? Yeah, yeah. We will not see on that supplier. Yeah. Whether it's so good. Good. Oh, God. And go to the supplier. We will not query on the uh, what happens. Go there, click on it. P01, I will not make a check. That is a mistake. Good. Fine. Good. Is Abbas, no? Right? Mohammed. Mohammed. Alam, sir. Mohammed. Yeah, Alam. Guy is awesome, oh, okay. Sir. Very good. Fantastic, Alam. Right? So go there, click on it. So here, what happens if you go on and see in the product services, it has been enough. And go to the product and services, fine. Go there. You know, see whether it's not. Yes, it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> it has gone to the improper one. So first, I will do one thing. Fine, go there. So I will know what happens. Yeah, I will know. I'll go to this place. There's some name this chain T01. That's it. Okay, I will know. Yeah. I'll not yeah. save it. In there. So I will now go there. I will now go to the products and services. Fine, go there. And collections of this yeah, good. others can also use it properly. So everything worked. Only thing is what we made some simple things like a text and all. Fine. That is not correct. And that's fine, sir. I mean, 
something. Yeah, attachment will work, na. I mean, I think yeah. that should also work if, because basic has worked. So supplier import the one. In this what happens? We are having all these files now. Fine, I will not remove this because I made some attachment. And all that. It is on a, on a zip file and all fine. File wise, I did it. It was not working actually for me. And maybe somebody has to work. Uh, site assignment is not important. Fine, I don't know. I made some screenshot of this. Fine, site import it is fine. It's okay. And all that. Supplier attachment import one fine. Okay, this also I will not keep it because I, we started working on these two things separately. Okay. But sir, delete them. They are not needed because we have already corrected. No, this supplier attachment is not a correct one. No, fine. This is the correct one. No, fine. I will not do one thing. I will not whatever the rename it is 08. No, fine. Do not rename it. This is the correct one actually. Fine. 08. Do not enter it. And then that one I will not delete it. So this is the delete one. But the one. And then similarly, business classification. What happens? Uh, we I made it separately. Fine. So business classification is correct actually. No, fine. This is already correct. So it's not required. So business classification will not see. Fine. What, what is the business classification of it? Supplier business classification. Let me open it up and then see. Open it up and then how do I tell you? Okay, so create woman owned. It came now. Uh, certificate number no, it didn't came at all. No, no, no. no. We, 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 we deleted all those. All the same. We will not see whether this is the correct one or not. So, you know, go to the supplier business classification template one. No, thank you. Whether we, this is the correct one or not. Yeah, it is a correct one. And small business, we deleted everything. So this is the correct one actually on the business classification. So let me replace it now. So I'm not going to go to the business classification. So this is a business classification has been this is a 06 file now. Right click on that. So rename it. So I'm not going to go to the home. So 06 file coming in. So business classification. And then this one I will not delete it. So is the template one of the correct one. The seven supplier policy services. So here we made some mistake. Is okay. Attachment is okay. So this is the import. It is I know just made it. And afterwards, what happens? If somebody has to improvise on this. So I just made it. And somebody has to improvise. And then what happens? We have to create another Excel sheet in which what happens? This will be the first column, second column, third column, like that. What happens? You know, putting it. And then afterwards, put all the supply name one below the other. Fine, fine. And supplies means what? One below the other. So they will all be columns. They will not be rows at all. So that exercise you do if you had to import some 500 or 600 suppliers, actually. Got it, huh? So likewise, you had to make it. <laughs> it's a really a very tough task. So now, first of all, what I will do is I will not go there. So these eight things are ready now. Fine. The zip files, I, we don't need the zip file. Now, fine. Zip file is not required. Fine. Let them do the zipping. Now. So I will not remove that. Shall I remove the zip file or shall I keep it as such now? What do you want? We'll have to zip it. We, you you had only zip it, fine. So that's why this is not required. Zip files is no, not. No, zip file is not needed, sir. Let's delete. Yes. Yeah, that's not needed. Zip file I have not deleted. Let them make the, the zip files. Zip files let them yeah. make. Yeah. So over there. So can So let me first of all put the supplier import on the drive now. I don't know. Go to this place. So sir, what is the last one? Some parts. Oh, that is details. Details. So I will now go to the drive. Google. Com. So drive. Google. Com. Go there and then let me upload the supplier import directly. Click on it. What happens? I will say folder upload. Folder upload. I will So click on the folder upload and then go there. J colon. Fine. I will not say supplier new. No. So J colon supplier import. Fine. Let me upload the entire folder. So let me upload the entire folder. So supplier import is a folder now. Fine. Let me upload it. So 37 files are there in total. And you know, upload it. So once it is completed, you can now have a look at it. Sir, in the, in the same folder, upload this video as well. Okay, you want me to upload this video also? No, that will be coming as a separate one. So not this one. You uh, can upload in the same folder, sir. That would be a second, okay, no, no, not done it properly. <laughs> I not done it in a pro improper manner. No, fine, no, fine. So I have to open up your fusion procurement records. So this is the one. In this place, I had to upload. Fine. Fusion procurement, six pillars record. Fine. Double click on it. And then let us now upload the folder here. This is the one you want to So click on it, file, and then file upload. I will not go there. I will not put the supplier import. And this is the one I do. On your fusion program, find supplier import of the photo. Thank you. So we are opening it up. So click on it. Oh, God. No, it's it's file upload, you said, sir. Oh, yes. oh. Go there. Folder upload. Fine. Folder upload, you go there. Go there. So go to the space, and go to the supplier import of the one. Fine. Click on it. So I'm now uploading it on the same folder. Now. Fine. Click on it. So fusion procurement six pillars one and open it So this file will be going as a what the last file. 
and all that stuff is on it. So this will be the last file on this. <clears throat> so 65th is the one thing that is the final record. So I will know first of all rename it now. Fine. Rapid implementation we won't put. I will know rename it. Let me rename it. Fine. This is not going to be the final actually. Fine. The import. Okay. And then supplier import is the final record actually. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. So supplier import is the 66th file, which will be the final record. So you'll know, go there and then have a look at this one now. Fine. See whether everything is there or not. So supplier import the one fine. Open it up and then see the fine. supplier import. No see fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and everything is there. Fine. The details from there. So this is okay. This one not there. Zip file is also there. Let it be there as well. Fine. So if you go to open zip file, so you can now see a lot of zip also. That's okay. okay. Let it let it be there as well. Yes. So we have succeeded on everything now. That is a great achievement. Great, sir. Great. <laughs> Absolutely great, sir. Great fine. Allah, fine, good. Muhammad Alam has not done a beautiful job, fine. He was uh, helping us in doing all the things, fine. Great, great, great. <laughs> yes, bit, sir. You help me all, always. <laughs> he is helping so, something from me also. Thank you, sir. Alam, how do you find it now, fine? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah, we are not done almost everything, fine. All the things we have done. But the only thing is, certain things are not complex, actually, fine. We did uh, in a very simple manner, actually. And the only thing is, what happens, you have to see the URL. And then the zip file attachments, everything. Great, then fine. Bye for now. And then we'll not write it. Thank you, Nana. Have a good dinner and sleep. Thank you. Thank you. I will now uploading it as a 66th file on our procurement record. Sure. Bye, Tijit. Bye. Bye.